5 August 2022. And then some more tears for the West. Russian shipping thrives despite sanctions. The North Sea route in Russia, Arctic, is seeing a trade boom with some passages as much as doubling Russia's, Russia's deputy prime minister has said. According to Alexander Novak, shipments are also up 5% on the first half of 2021, which shows the shipping artery is in high demand. And Russia's Supreme Court designates Ukraine's Azov Battalion a terrorist organization. Yeah, what could you expect? They have caught a lot of those Azov guys and I think they've got more than enough evidence for this. Russia stands with China. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said during his Tuesday meeting, Moscow is not sure if Nancy Pelosi will visit Taiwan or not. Peskov then condemned the potential move, labeling it, labeling it provocative. He reiterated that Russia understands China's concern over the issue and stands in solidarity with its eastern neighbor. The West is reckless. Serbia will receive help from Russia in case of a conflict with Kosovo, Russian Senator says. Speaking to Sputnik, Russia, Sputnik Russian Senator Vladimir Tazabarov stated that his country will provide aid to Serbia in case it enters into a conflict with Kosovo. However, he stressed that the aid will be indirect, i.e. without Russia entering the conflict. And there you have it. And there, uh, but I see there was some sanity there and they've tuned the heat down in Kosovo. Putin on Russia's attitude to the confrontation between the US and China is in the context of Pelosi's visit. The Chinese have, have a good proverb. When tigers fight in a valley, a smart monkey sits and watches how it ends. And this is so Putin. President Putin. Importance of interaction with our partners who share our values has increased dramatically amid current imbalances in international relations. The situation has been developing for a long time and is a result of policy of those who advocate so-called the liberal world order. And here he sits with us, uh, talks to that young boy. And then we get to this. Russian swimming legend wades into the trance debate. The trans athletes should be banned from female events, Svetlana Romashina, a Russian swimming icon has said. Romashina praised the International Swimming Organization for barring athletes who have not transitioned before 12 from women's competitions. We must adhere to the original rules. The original rules of nature asserted the most decorated synchronized swimmer ever. This craziness in this world must stop. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.